there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. What a beautiful morning. Isn't it lovely? Mm. Um, so I've got an email yesterday to tell us that the sale documents after two years are now finally ready for release at our notaire's office, which is just there. So we're going to go and get them. Our house deeds. Yes, our house deeds. It's very important to get these things. <laughs> kind of handy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's go. So today we're running a few errands. We've been and picked up the, the house deeds. And this is just absolutely mind-boggling. We are on the main street of Sant. And this man in this cherry picker and his bunch of mates they you can see the wire is actually hanging Christmas lights Christmas lights I've heard of being prepared but that takes it to a whole different level even in a cherry picker <laughs> And here we are today at a Bricko shop. Here he is. It's just like Christmas. You may be asking yourselves, why are we here? It's been a while, hasn't it? God, look at all of those. All of the seats are down. Why you would choose this as a toilet seat is beyond me. And why you would pay near enough 40 euros for it. Hmm. Same. So darling, why are we here? Shopping. What for? An activity you love. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit crap shopping for this, isn't it? <laughs> I think we're here for a toilet. Cavalli. Rimless. <laughs> so we're now having a look at toilets. You see, I would think that it's pretty simple. Just standard high level toilet. But no, apparently there's high level, high level comfort, level. comfort level, rimless. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to choose your urinal. I'm choosing the toilet. I've got to choose a urinal. <laughs> Whoa! You're special. Come along now. <laughs> I normally like to pull that face when I'm alone. <laughs> did that all by yourself, didn't you? You're yeah, so did, yeah. you're so strong. I've got a sink, but we need a tap. Now, I've looked at all of the bathroom taps in here, and they're a bit. Mm. However, looking at the kitchen ones, some of them are a lot nicer. Now, to the sink, there will only be cold water, yes. But it's something to wash your hands in. Um, yeah, what do you think? A fairly good selection here. Well, I'd say there was. Look at that. However, I think I'll go with this one because it kind of matches the, the outside metal on the barrel. 
price isn't too bad. Sold. So I think we're uh, we're finished in the shop, are we? Uh, we're finished in the shop. Yeah. Good. Good. And just like that, Brico shop number two. Serious business here as you get to trolley again. Man on a mission. <gasps> I can see one. There we go. Order has been restored. Oh, better go find Butcher. There he is. He's looking at these bits. I'm sure we've got loads of these. Found what you wanted? No. No? Most of the time, he's really good and he can pick something really quickly. But today, he's stuck on lighting. Look, look at that face. He's pondering. He's taking forever. If there's anyone out there, I've been in here now for days. Or it feels like days. Hours. Hours and hours. And I'm running out of things to do. And I'm bored. Send out. Well, good morning. And, uh, yep, back over at the outside toilet. Um, where Claire did the pointing previously. That's all drying out really nicely now. So, um, yeah, about time I carried on and did something. Now, the first job I'm going to get on with is to do with the ceiling up here. Um, you can see particularly that beam there, it's rotten. It's really, really rotten. Um, in fact, there's two, three of the five uh, are really bad. Two of the five are okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace those beams. Shouldn't be too hard. I've been following a different YouTuber. He's bought a chateau without any flaws and he seems to be getting on okay replacing all the beams. So um, he's inspired me with uh, lots of confidence to crack on and get this job done. So uh, here goes. First job, get the old ones out. Well, straight away I've um, stopped doing what I was just doing because I've just seen a screw to the top of the beam. I hadn't spotted it before. There's a, a really old sort of electrical connector um, thing which I just tested and it was all it was all dead. And then I've sort of tracked the wires back and found a switch and I flicked the switch and it's all live. So uh, yeah, I need to get that sorted out first. Hmm. Right, well that didn't take long, um, so I've taken the rest of that beam down and I'm yeah, just going to go and cut a new one to length and stick it in and see how it looks. Well at that end it needs packing up a bit but um, what I'm going to do is get the other ones out that I want to get out and then when it comes to fitting them in I can get them all levelled up correctly. Um, lengthwise it's fine. It is slightly smaller in height, it's the same width but smaller in height than the other ones because that's, <laughs> they seem to make wood smaller nowadays. Um, don't know why. That's 
why I'm replacing them. It's crumbling. Annoyingly, they are both about that much too long for the gap. Should have measured. Kind of thought they'd all be the same, but there we go. You live and learn. Sometimes, ladies and gents, he does have good ideas. <laughs> well, they all seem to be sitting snugly in the holes. Um, Gonna make a little mix up of, of lime and sand and, and get them cemented in with that. Uh, front one obviously I do need to pack up at that end. Uh, not enough to warrant a, a, a cement mixer load, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit up by hand. That's those two done. Um, I've run out of mix. I'll have to uh, make another batch up and then I'll get the one at the front done. Right, well, that's that done. They're all level on the underneath. So when I fit the ceiling onto it, that should, shouldn't be a challenge. Um, I'll leave it a couple of days just to make sure that sets really well. Uh, in the meantime, I can get on and carry on denailing these two old ones. But yeah, quite happy with that. Um, what I've just been doing is, is getting the pipe work in place for the toilet and then we run along there. We're going to have some boxing across at the end of the, the room there which is going to conceal the pipe work for the basin that's going in the corner here and the urinal will be over there. We're not going to have a shower in here for a couple of reasons. Um, we have no hot water over here. Um, so not many people want a cold shower. We do actually, for anyone that wants to rinse off after having a, a swim, there is obviously the, the solar heated uh, shower by the pool. Um, and if anyone is here who wants a better shower, well, we're going to have quite a few of them around the property in due course. Uh, this is really just a toilet and, and basin set up in here. So yeah, next what I'm doing, getting all the pipe work cut to, to be in place, then I need to get it all glued together. And then I might be just about ready to pour concrete and get the floor um, all down. So yeah. Here we are, another day, and what I'm going to do now is, well, I've put the pipe work in for the, uh, the waste pipes for everything. I'm going to get those all glued together. I had to make an emergency trip the other day to uh, a Brico shop because the glue that I'd had had all gone hard, and uh, so I need to go and get more. What a shame. 
to a bricko shop, eh? Anyway, um, yeah, gonna get on gluing now. Shouldn't take me too long and then see about getting the floor down. water supply pipe along beside this which is going to feed the water to the toilet and then I can make sure the level of that rubble is so that we can get a, a reasonable depth of uh, concrete um, pad there. The other thing I need to do is at the front put some formwork to, to stop it all losing out here but this is now I'm going to do I'm going to mark just a couple of positions along the wall so when I'm pouring the concrete it um, yeah I'll put it at the right height basically I think I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee and then get the cement mixer going wish me luck I don't know if it shows up on camera, but that is really good. Well, it's my best floor so far. Quite happy with that. Not a bad morning's work. Yesterday, while we were out running errands, we went into the supermarket. And normally, I like buying the fur children some steak mints that's made for animals, that's obviously the offcuts of things. But I did find them a little treat to try. This. It kind of looks, looks like a nibble. But it's actually pork tail. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna boil them up and I'm gonna give them to the fur kids as a treat. There we go. I don't think that you know quite know what to make of that yet. But it's all right. You can come back to it. So if you've been watching a, a while, you'll remember that where I am at the moment is the barn which has got all the old wine tanks. Um, Grapes were made into wine, wine was made into cognac, and that's what this house was about once upon a time. Um, we've got these old tanks, and one of the things I was trying to do was to store rainwater in times of rain and use it to water plants. Um, so I have one tank that is virtually full at the moment. I was filling a, a second tank. Now, for a couple of reasons, I've drained it down. First reason was there was a leak from the door. Um, when the door was closed, 
really he shouldn't have anything coming through it. But there was a drip, 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 drip. The other problem is that um, I, I think I should have put the lid on the tank better, which has allowed light to get in, which has allowed uh, algae and stuff to, to make the water smelly. Um, So, for those two reasons, and a third reason, that we detected there was a bit of oil in the water. I don't know where that's come from, possibly just residue from in the tank. Um, so we drained that down. Um, now what I'm going to do, because I do want to carry on with this project, I'm going to rinse the tank out. Um, firstly, spray it through with a bit of water, and then I've got some, some bleach to actually really make sure the insides are thoroughly clean then I'm going to put the door back on it and let the rain whenever we get any rain do its thing I say whenever we get any rain it's been a couple of weeks now since we've had a shower um, but anyway it's coming to winter so chances are we're going to get some so anyway I'm cleaning that tank out now I'm going to put this light inside and just have a little look around first of all Vital places, but it's just a big concrete tank. Um, not a lot going on in there. But anyway, let's get up there and uh, try and get it cleaned. So the tank should have that lid on the top, which, because I hadn't put it on, that's why I think all the algae um, began to grow. So, ooh. first off, I'm just gonna give it a spray with the hose. Now I'm going to go and I've got this spray bottle it's full of a kind of like a bleach thing it's designed to get they say get rid of green deposits from walls um, give it a go eh spray this round and then rinse it off and take it from there Oh, it's hot up here. Anyway, I've given that a really good spray. The first spray thing I had leaked, so I went and got another one. Um, but I've given the tank a good spray. Now, back in the day, they may have sent someone in through the little door at the front there. Um, but just the thought of being in there with the chemicals and the gases, it's like, I'm not gonna risk that. Um, I'm doing it from above, I've given it a good spray. I'm gonna leave that now for probably an hour just to let it do its thing and then give it a rinse. But straight away, you can see that it's um, making a difference. Have a look at this. So that wall was completely black, like it is up there. Um, and it's cleaned a heck of a lot of the um, residue of whatever it was off. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but um, certainly it's starting to look a lot cleaner than before I started. So I'm going to get out of here for now, go and have a drink, come back in an hour and give it a good rinse off. Right, well I've left that an hour and go back up. <clears throat> I'm 
and rinse it off. Oh, long way up here. convenient little tool um, they left behind when we bought the house so I scraped out all the, the gunk from the bottom um, just gonna let that drain out now and then I'm gonna let, let, let that dry for well at least a few days and then I'll put the, the, the door back on and give that a good clean first because it was dripping before I took it off so I want to get any of the roughness off which will help it seal better um, so I'll put the door back on, get the, everything set up and then put a cover over the lid because where the hose goes in there's a crack in, in the, the lid so I need to put something over that, make it nice and dark and then I won't get that problem with it going green and smelly and algae again so uh, yeah, a bit of a bleh job but um, it'll pay dividends come next summer when we can use the water for watering all the plants and if a pool needs a top up we'll be able to do it like that but there's no way i was going to put that green water in our pool Ugh. no way but for today that is a job done Hi, and welcome to Wine of the Week. Now this week we got no corkscrew and that's because it's not a French wine. This it's... one is a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Chilean one. Little UK's finest maybe. Yeah. Mm. Thought we'd give it a go. Don't, In... know, don't know where it came from apart from obviously little in the UK. It's a, uh, a 2020 vintage of the World Wine Collection. With Whoever a, they are. With a lovely picture of, I would imagine, a panther. Grr. Anyway, <laughs> crack that one open. Yay! Oh. <laughs> oh, more progress. Yeah. Starting to come together. We're, we're getting somewhere, aren't we? That's hmm. for sure. Hope you're enjoying everything that you're watching. If you are, please click the like button and, and if you're not yet a subscriber please do so it's free you can also find us on facebook instagram or x or, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com yes you can can't you yes anyway, anyway. oh sorry your face is covered glory i don't know what cheers is in chilean no i don't either i've never had to use that Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> See you next week. Mm. Like my beaner, really, isn't it? It's not very well. It's meant to be thirteen percent, but there doesn't really seem a lot to this. I'm sure I've had better Chilean wines. I'm sure there are much better than that. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>